gets us closer to bringing down Persephone. I'm glad you see reason. So, what do you have in mind for Persephone's followers? Poison in their wine should do the trick. Unfortunately, the wolf nearby ate the last of You'll need to hunt it and extract the poison. This symposium shouldn't be too difficult to infiltrate. But once you're there, try to blend in with the other Persephone-obsessed humans. Adonis mentioned having rebel spies that attend similar events. Ah! Then you might want to warn such a spy not to drink the wine. I'm sure Adonis gave you a code to tell the spy you're an ally. He did. Any idea what the spy might look like? From what I've heard, these spies tend to be middle-aged men wearing floral patterns and with animal motifs on their jewelry. A little obvious, if you ask me. I'll find the poison and infiltrate the symposium. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to leave once the human... Here it is.
poison. Now I've got a symposium to attend. Another one. Να με πιστεύει τούτο. Αυτόν. A fresh face. Is this your first time at a devoted follower symposium? Uh, yes. Don't look so nervous, friend. Why don't you go meet some people and then we will toast to our new arrivals? Oh. 
if you're at a loss for words, let other members know whether you think Adonis or Hermes is Persephone's soulmate. We debate that for hours here. Praise Persephone, friend. I should go meet more people. Persephone sent Adonis the most beautiful boat after he destroyed yet another Thaluka trying to escape Elysium. Uh, and would that ridiculous man realize Persephone is perfect for him? Welcome back. Violets only bloom in Elysium winters. Persephone's favorite flowers are poppies. Everyone knows that. Enjoying the symposium. Violets only bloom in Elysium winters. I think you may have become. Coming divine symposium. Why wouldn't she? He's her captor. Ah. 
having a good time. Violets only bloom in Elysium winters. Cold as Hades' heart. Whatever you do, don't drink the wine. an argument, friend. We just got word that Persephone is expanding her palace. Should she build into the east or west of Elysium? I think she should expand west. Thank you! If she wants a view of all the Minoan architecture, she must add a wing in the west. Tell me, stranger, who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Adonis. Persephone adores him. A while ago, I would have agreed with you, but everyone knows Adonis has been slamming it with some human lately. Oh, Mikini! Mechritinos! <laughs> I know they're old rumors, but what do you think of the whispers that Hecate seeks to steal Persephone's throne for herself? They look like good friends to me. You know, I completely agree. Persephone needs someone like Hecate by her side supporting her. non <laughs> kakon <laughs> Did you really think we wouldn't notice you tampering with our drinks? And after we welcomed you with open arms. Guards!
Tell me, stranger, who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Hermes! He clearly adores Persephone. Thank the gods! Someone here with some sense. Hermes doesn't get his due. He would follow Persephone. I know they're old rumors. They look like good, you know? I completely... I'm ready for the toast. You know, everyone is saying what a great conversationalist you are. So knowledgeable about Persephone. You'll be a perfect fit here. These people really don't seem as corrupt as Ekati made them out to be. Everyone gather to toast our new members. To Persephone. To Persephone. <laughs> what? Ekati said it would take time to sink in. I'd better get out of here before. I... Yeah. 
You're released from the grasp of Ibnos. Elysium awaits you. The flames of Ibnos are dying. I release you from their control. You've been asleep too long. Wake and be free! Rise! Persephone no longer controls you! Gatti owes me answers. The symposium wasn't at all what I expected. Why do I get the feeling I've been played?
What do you think about my southern realm? I don't come here much anymore. It's lovely. I try to offer a comfortable home to the glorious dead. It helps them accept their fate and keeps them from wandering too far. So when a human wanders and doesn't return, I can't help but take it personally. What am I doing here? When Leonidas was alive, he brought chaos and bloodshed. Hermes spotted him mingling with delinquents recently. We can't have him falling into old habits. If he won't fight with me, then he won't fight at all. Leonidas of Sparta is my grandfather. If you think I'm going to stick a blade in him, you're wrong. Hermes told me why you're really in Elysium. That staff of yours. Cross me and you'll fail. But Leonidas means a lot to you. I understand this will be difficult, which is why I'm willing to make you a deal. What kind of deal? Bring me the body of Leonidas, and I will bring back a departed beloved of your choosing. You can do that? I'm Queen of the Dead, darling. I can do anything. So, who does Cassandra want back in her life? I want to see Phoebe again. Help me protect Elysium from chaos, and you'll see your loved one again.
Come on. Even in paradise, people want my family dead. Is killing my grandfather worth bringing someone back to life? What are you doing out here? There is something I wanted to ask you. Will you fish with me? This is nice. There are... So many things I want to talk about. Talk then. Mother told me of our bloodline and our ancestors. Did you know? Only what my mother told me. We were born from greatness, and we were destined for greatness. The world was divided in two. Those who wanted us dead, and those who would follow us to the gates of Hades. I imagine the spear was in one piece when it was given to you. My mother handed it to me when I was a boy. Said it came with a certain burden. But... You were ready. After everything you lost at Thermopylae... Your men, your wife, your children... Sparta? In the end, was it worth it? Who rules the Greek world right now? Greeks. Then my answer is yes. It's so peaceful here. I think I got a bite. Get a basket, quickly. Grandfather, I... You are here to kill me. In Sparta, we were trained to spot predators... ...long before they bounced. I need Persephone's approval, but she sees you as a threat. If I don't take care of that threat... Why not bring her the head of a greater threat? Who's a greater threat than you? Actually, there is someone. A spy. I delivered him to Persephone as a bodyguard, but he's working against her from the inside. I am only a threat to her soldiers on the battlefield. A spy threatens the heart of Elysium. Bring her his corpse, and she should be satisfied. Thank you, Grandfather. 
We should go fishing more often. Like this. Maybe if I bring Kiros alive, she can deal with the traitor herself. He is. Family.
Ella. Ella. Hey, you nearly hit me. Kiros of Zarax? This isn't who I asked for. He's a spy working for the Rebellion. But you're the one who first brought him to me. I didn't know his intentions. I trusted you. Guards! Persephone, listen to me. Hermes is right. Trouble's brewing in Elysium. Even though Leonidas is against you, you are much stronger than he is. But Kiros was an enemy you couldn't see. That made him far more dangerous to you and Elysium. But he's still breathing. Death is a gift traitors don't deserve. I thought you'd want to deal with him yourself. Defying me comes at a cost. Our deal is off. But for bringing me this vile deceiver, you may stay. Figure out that mysterious little staff of yours.
can I do? I never wanted this! I only turned this world into paradise to make it bearable! And then you arrived and made me blossom. Please, just let me go. If you truly wanted to leave, you'd have already done it. Or have you forgotten? I wonder if Aphrodite would still love you if she knew what a coward you were. Not having second thoughts, are you? She's right. I am a coward. She gave me the chance to leave once. All I had to do was fight, and I couldn't. I'm sorry, I can't do this. It's too big. Adonis, I want you to close your eyes and imagine Aphrodite. Don't let Persephone make you forget why you're fighting. You're right. It's Persephone's greatest talent, making us for- Keeps people from wanting to leave. Let's remind them, shall we? At the base of the Palace of the Colossi, you'll find one of Hermes' inventions, stolen from his workshop. It's said to destroy everything it touches. What are we destroying? Atop the palace is where Persephone keeps her sleeping Colossi. Bring the device there and make sure they never wake again. The smoke will let every rebel camp in Elysium know the time to strike is now. What are we waiting for? Try not to kill anyone. Success without detection and death is sure to convert more non-believers to our cause. careful in this area. Hmm. <sighs> 
That's got to hurt, but you'll live. Why was I on the ground? Now that's weird. What are you? Just die! From the grasp of Hypnos, Elysium awaits you! You're free from Persephone's grip! Rise! Persephone no longer controls you! From the grasp of Hypnos, 
Elysium awaits you! You're free from Persephone's grip! The flames of Hypnos are dying! I release you from their control!
When we first met, I laughed when you said you wanted to escape Elysium. And now? I pity the god who stands in your way. So what will you do? I have some preparations to make before our final assault on Persephone's palace. I meant when this is over. I'm going to leave Elysium in the hands of the people. Then I'm going straight to Olibos into the arms of my love. Sounds like paradise. You've been a good friend. I never expected to find one here. Come find me before we launch our attack. The rebellion's almost ready to make it stand. I should check back with Ekati in case she's returned. And get some answers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Persephone, I was looking for a Cathy. I can't imagine what you need her for, but never mind. Do you know what the hardest part is about my life here? I don't. It's not knowing who to trust. Ekati has been my dearest friend ever since my mother, the meteor, sent her to me. But after that nonsense with Lethe's water, I've been keeping a closer eye on her. Ekati always tells me where she's going, but not this time. My spies tell me she's about to resurface for a secret meeting at Iphigenia's compound. Sounds like the meeting's not so secret anymore. That's where you come in. Spy on her and report back to me. I'm trusting you with this. Please, don't let me down. to find what the cat is up to too.
least too long. Wake and be free! The flames of Hypnos are dying. I release you from their control. There she is. I was wondering when you would arrive, locksmith. You know I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Ekati. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Cassandra about the key to the Underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's cover. Why would I want her running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that! I know you've been spending a lot of time together, and undermining Persephone in the process. Cassandra has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power! Hermes, you know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> it's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Ernest. Let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. I need to get to Persephone first, no matter what. Oh! You're released from the grasp of Ibnos! Elysium awaits you! So Ross's collar is the key to opening the gate to the underworld. Now to find a way to get it.
So? What did you find out? A cut has been working behind your back. What folly is this? An outsider accusing me of treason after breaking into your sanctuary. Ekati is trying to frame me. I had nothing to do with the break-in. You are the only one with the key. Cassandra stole it from me. Just like she stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. But Cassandra destroyed it. Don't play games with me, Ekati. I know who was behind Lethe's water circulating in Elysium. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. Half of Elysium knows Ekati wants you out of power, Persephone. Why can't you see that? You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquent operating in Defcalion's heritage after this outsider helped her. The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes, all poisoned with aconite, which you have quite the green thumb for. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider, that someone matching your description was seen fleeing the followers' symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekati is my oldest friend in the underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over hers. Ekati has always been jealous of you. She wants your power over Elysium for herself. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Whatever part Cassandra may have played in my misfortunes as of late, you played a large role. And you are supposed to be my confidant in the underworld. My best friend. I had the best intentions. Whatever you were trying to do, you betrayed me. We've received word those delinquents in Defkeluan's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Adonis's troops should be strong enough to take Persephone down. I should let him know.
I've had scouts looking everywhere for you. I didn't think to check Persephone's throne room. Of course you didn't. And thanks to me, Persephone blames Ekati. We have the advantage. That's so? Then we need to strike, and we need to do it now. Mm. For Aphrodite. And for your freedom to breach the gate out of this realm. All right, master your troops. We're going to battle. Hermes, you shouldn't be here. Where else would I be while the humans burn Elysium to the ground? My friend, help me protect her. I have helped you, but nothing is going to stop this. The gate must open. After everything I've done for you, please, Hermes, listen to me. We haven't had the easiest friendship. The Staff Keeper and the Keymaker. But you've done so much for me. Together, we'll get Persephone to stand down. Thank you. Let's go. Together.
You failed me for the last time, Herr Mistris Megistus. That's it. Persephone's control over Elysium needs to end. Now! You! Don't move a muscle! You're letting a human get in the way of our friendship! You let her get in the way! You should have told me yourself, but all I hear spouting from your mouth are lies! I've had enough! In fact, I'm going to do something about that. Don't! And I hate your dress! Good luck manipulating anyone with your lies ever again. If I were you, I'd leave before I say anything else stupid. How did you do that? It comes naturally to me. You're making a huge mistake. With war brewing outside my window, I wonder what you'd suggest I do instead. Your beautiful Elysium has turned to rubble. All because of your stubbornness, Persephone. You fool! I made this place beautiful for you! Nothing I've ever done for your love has been good enough! You're a prisoner too. You should know it's impossible to love your captor. This is the last time I'll ask. Let us go. Let me go! You've turned this whole realm against me. But you didn't do it alone. Go. Your friend here won't be as lucky. Thank you, Persephone. I'm forever grateful. Go easy on Cassandra. Your turn. We don't have to do this. Just let me pass through Elysium. Adonis would have rallied the people with or without my help. You're lying! Persephone, you don't have to control everything. You're free to let go. Maybe you can finally go home. You know nothing of what I've been through. I was stolen from your world. I had no choice but to take this one for myself.
Julia, what no the... time for that. Abstergos found us. Tell your boss I'm ready. Also, Berg can come get me himself, if he's not a coward. What the hell is wrong with you? What else could I do? They were out to kill us, even Alethea ran for the hills. There was no reason to massacre them. Everything okay down there? Sounded like a war zone. We're fine, Alana. But don't expect much action anytime soon. Seems like this specific memory in the Animus is down for the count. Let me guess, that happened when you ripped me out. Great, that's the last thing we need. I had no choice. Complaining won't repair the computer. The memory files are overriding each other, and I'll need time to sort them out. You know what? I need some time alone. May as well head back to Greece until Alethea returns anyway. That wasn't so long of a wait, was it? I've patched the memories, and we're good to go back in the simulation. With Abstergo on our tails, we have to move fast. You can't blame me for being eager to get going. I won't blame you if you don't blame me for what happened earlier. It's just, Atlantis isn't our little secret anymore. Let's try to move on, shall we? Victoria, you have to trust me in there. I know what I'm doing. We're friends, Layla. But more than that, I'm your doctor. I can't ignore what's happening to your body when you're in there. Something is really off. I'm fine. I don't know how much more doctor talk I can take. Ugh, I'll never get used to that. She comes out of nowhere. Glad you're back. Bet even you didn't see that Abstergo ambush coming, Alethea. Not exactly. But as long as they're gone and you're ready, your journey with the staff continues. After that cliffhanger in the pit of Elysium, you bet I'm ready. <laughs> I have to see what happens next. By interacting with the Keeper's insights in Elysium, Cassandra exchanged knowledge with the staff. That means by extension of the Animus, so have you. I gotta tell you, I do feel stronger somehow. Try to keep your head in there. Good luck, Layla.
raus. Good dog. Good dog.
You reek of mortal. Hades. The last mortal to dance with Cerberus and live was Heracles. But then he had Athena and Hermes wrapped around his mighty finger. So tell me, who's wrapped around your finger? Which god helped you slay my beast? There were no gods in that pit. Just me and my spear. <laughs> so you did have help from the gods. I know who you are. What you've done. And I'd say you owe me, Keeper. It wasn't my plan to be thrown down that hole. But here I am. What do you want from me? Thanks to you, my realm is more chaotic than ever. With Cerberus gone, there is nothing to stop the dead from crossing over to the world of the living. So find another dog. You find another dog! I'm sorry you had to see that. The blood runs hot in my family. <clears throat> you did this, so I think it's only fair that you fix it. Fine. Tell me where you keep the multi-headed monsters around here, and I'll be right back. <laughs> no, 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 my dear Keeper. My realm, my rules. I have four gates. Instead of one guardian for them all, I want you to find me four guardians. One for each of them. The underworld is filled with kings, heroes, legends. All lost. All trying to find purpose. You could give them that purpose. The Cerberus was a fierce guardian. What human could replace him? No human could. A legend, though, immortal in the minds of the living, would strike terror in any who dared to cross over. Find me four of those. And if I don't find these guardians, then what? Boundaries between the world of the living and the realm of the dead will melt. The vile creatures locked away in Tartarus will roam free. Mortal souls will wander lost for eternity. And I will be very, very angry with you. Teach me how to use this stuff, and it's a deal. Ah, yes. The trials of the Keeper. I've already heard how you'll stop at nothing to figure out that boring little stick of yours. This boring little stick. Tell you what. Go talk to my ferryman, Harold. Help him put things back in order, and I'll help you fulfill your destiny. <sighs> See what you've done? These are everywhere now. Fix it. Oh, I'll fix it. My brother and I have a little wager on whether or not you'll succeed in your quest. Don't let me down. You don't want to owe me twice.